Welcome everyone, this is Eccleston Piano Teacher and in this video I'm going to be talking about practice. Not something that uh, a lot of people enjoy, but it is essential and actually there is a skill in itself to practice. So hopefully this uh, short video will give you a bit of help. If you've played for some years and don't practice sufficiently, you eventually become something like this tractor rusty, out of condition and not really fit for action. So take for example that uh, you have reached grade one, which could be said to be average for a 10 year old child, for example, or someone who's been playing for say uh, 18 months or two and a half years. If you only practice at this stage for 10 minutes a week, it is unlikely that you will progress and you actually may regress, you'll go backwards. A couple of points. Uh, practice is not performing. Performing is playing a piece through without stopping, without stopping to correct mistakes or to try and play something a bit different. Practicing is working at bits of a song or a piece to improve it, to get the rhythms better uh, or to improve the coordination between the hands and in the early stages often working uh, left hand only or right hand only. Practicing your instrument, or for singers your voice, is important as the vast majority of pupils discover eventually. If you have a lot of ability and encouragement in the home, for example from parents, then this helps. But eventually you yourself need to take the responsibility of getting down to regular practice. Or you will simply not progress unless you have an, uh, an above average amount of ability. Now, practice requires positive attitudes, and here are seven, and of course there are more, but for today, seven is enough. One, motivation. How motivated are you, or is your child? When a specific challenge, such as a scale run or a big chord, doesn't fall into place immediately, will you simply give up, or will you be motivated to get it better? Secondly, patience. Patience is essential. If you don't have much patience, you will soon give up. Progress in playing piano rarely comes without trying, without perseverance. Third point, maturity. Children rarely have the maturity to consider how slow or fast pieces should be played. Boys typically want to play as fast as possible, and the faster it is played, the more impressive the result, according to them. Adults often have this maturity, and they apply it to themselves with discipline and their practice. And I wish that these adults had the muscle and the brain freshness of young people. Unfortunately, they frequently don't when they leave it so late uh, to start from scratch. Fourthly, enjoying the music in question. Rarely do pupils have the attitude of, teacher says practice this, so I will get on with it. As a teacher, I wish that they did but frequently they don't. But if they do enjoy the piece of the song, they tend to uh, do more practice. So to what extent do you enjoy the music in question? Fifthly, enjoying playing the instrument. Now, this is not the same as enjoying the music. You may be puzzled by this. But I think that piano teachers suffer most from pupils wanting to use piano as a means towards playing their favorite songs or pieces, or even orchestral piece. They don't necessarily enjoy the activity of playing the piano. I remember one adult pupil who invited me round to his house to try out his new shimmel upright. He played middle C, all in its own, no other notes, and said, just listen to that, beautiful. He just enjoyed the purity and the beauty of the tone. I've never come across a child having that attitude. Pupils who simply enjoy playing the piano are more likely to practice anything. Point six, teachability. Are you prepared to listen to a teacher or to anyone else? Or do you have the arrogance to believe that no one apart from you has any solutions to pianistic problems? As with some children, eventually they will learn that it's better to use the hands. Ha ha. Point seven happy to be alone, are you? Practice is a solitary activity. 
Some children get lost in their own world, as with computer games or the long-distance runner. But this seems to be rarely the case with piano. Perhaps you thrive in group situations. That is actually quite difficult for private teachers like me to address. Pupils' lives are so busy with homework and other activities, and if they don't collect, rela connect relationally with potential duet partners, they just don't want to try or take it any further. So the vast majority of piano pupils, um, for years and years and years, it's just on their own or doing a duet with the teacher. So these are the seven points for now. For beginners, why not get a book like this one, Practice Makes Perfect by uh, Hall and Harris. I don't fully agree with the title. Practice Makes Perfect? I wish it did. Anyway, some pupils um, like lots of practice, but uh, they can struggle and they don't have the ability of others. But it's a useful book nonetheless. Warning, it's to be dipped into over a four or a five year period. Very few will absorb all of the contents in the first year of lessons. It's for the longer haul. And I'll refer back to these guys in future videos on practice, Pauline Hall and Paul Harris. They have a lot uh, of ideas and a lot of experience which is well worth paying attention to. Bye for now.